this video let me show you a couple of other new features we have in Blocks 4. So first of all, if we go to Asset Manager, which we can now sort alphabetically, we now have an ability to edit images inside Blocks app. So for example, if we want to edit this image, all we need to do is right click and click on Edit Asset. And this is the new image editor we have in Blocks and we can change the size, for example, make it smaller, we can adjust the quality and it will automatically show you the size of the optimized image. We can add the CSS filters here as well to make your images brighter, more saturated and other. And of course we can crop the image to give you the exact look you want. And when you save this, Blocks will automatically adjust the file you had in your Asset Manager and replace it with the new one. So I'm not going to do that now. And let me show you some other cool features we have in Blocks. And one of them is SEO Helper. SEO Helper is a little tool which will help you optimize your web pages for search engines. For example, if you're building the website about coffee, type coffee to keyword field and it will check for you and say if there is something else you need to change about it. I'm going to cover this later during the video course and for now let's take a look at some other cool features we have in Blocks. If you know before in Blocks 3 we were able to press G and it would show us the grid of our website which is basically not visible to the visitor, but you can use it to align the elements and build the streamlined look of your website. Well, now in Blocks 4, we also have a couple of other modes developers will definitely enjoy. For example, we have the outline mode and it will show you how your page is structured and give you a better understanding on how you can improve it. You can also display the line breaks and uh, use the wireframe mode if you want. I don't have a use for this myself, but I guess for some developers this can be useful. So overall, Blocks 4 is packed with lots of new features which we all explore during our design process. Mm -hmm.